All right, guys, here it is. The test I have been waiting for, and you probably are too. The $30 bottle of Gaia Notes Gaia Premium Mirror Chrome. Uh, this is number GP-08. Um, there's also a premium, I think, Mirror Silver. Doesn't quite have this shine. That's probably more of a metalizer. That's like the $25 bottle. This is like a $35 bottle. I was just so curious that I've tried all the chromes. I might as well. And then the same water came this $3 bottle of Vallejo Model Air Chrome. But I'm thinking this is probably just a shiny silver. It's not in their metalizer lineup or anything. So, you know, I just want to try all the chromes. That's why I grabbed this. This is probably more of a joke. <laughs> It's probably just silver. This, however, I'm dying to see. We're going to put it over a black, this deep blue from Tamiya, this shiny gray, and this is a uh, matte uh, white. I believe this is Mr. Surfacer uh, white in the spray can. Um, we're going to use the, the new Harder and Steenbeck uh, Infinity. I just put my needle in here. This is a 0.4 needle. And um, we're going to go with, a, I think, 20 pounds of PSI. I might go even less, maybe 15, but you can adjust it. I'll show you later when I review this. I added this valve here, and you can adjust the airflow using this. So we're going to go pretty light, get some really light coats. I'm not going to go very heavy with this. I'm going to go as light as I can. The second I get a shine, I'm going to stop. Now, I don't think I'm going to use the buffing cloths with this yet, the all clad polishing cloths that just came in uh, would this is just gonna be a straight-up test of uh, of this stuff out of the bottle to see what it looks like at this price I, I imagine it can't look any better than what I've gotten for eight dollars a bottle but again I do this uh, as a test for you guys um, so you guys can judge for yourself okay we're gonna go off to the booth now and we're gonna test all four of these using the hotter and steam back and we're going to do this, I believe, straight out of the bottle. It looks pretty thin, and I think it says it is. Yeah, it's pretty thin right there. You can tell. So, yeah, looks like the All Clan. All right, we'll see you at the booth. All right, guys, this is it. Gaia Premium Mirror Chrome. I got some spoons. I got uh, the dark blue from Tamiya. I got a gloss gray from uh, All Clad Primer. This is all clad black. And this is my new uh, Stanarez gloss black. Um, I know I was going to put it in my new airbrush, but I poured it in here, not thinking, and the, other, the new airbrush was right next to it. <laughs> so we'll uh, experiment with the new airbrush uh, coming up, but for now we'll use the old standby uh, Mr. Hobby airbrush. Right. Let's see. What we got. Looks like it's coming out good. All right. Let's see how we go. It covers quick, like uh, all clad. Not quite as shiny as I thought, but uh, we'll try the next one. Wow, now this is a different story. It covered this, this spoon terrific. I mean, it, it's instantly shiny. In fact, I don't even I don't even want to put any more. I'll let it dry, but you can see my face in it. Uh, that's a whole different story. Wow. Alright. Um, one second, I'm gonna put a little more in it. 
All right. I'm wondering if uh, that acrylic primer had something to do with it. So let's try this black spoon. This is the all clad black. Yeah, big difference. That's all it needs, just a light, light coat. It, it's good. That's a thumbs up. Uh, it's good. I'm not even going to put any more. I'm going to leave it right there. Uh, we're looking at it at the bench, but something happened to this one. It didn't like this primer at all. So let's go ahead with the Tamiya the high gloss blue here and see what we get. Uh, very light on the air, like 15 psi. Uh, I'm not pulling a lot back on the needle. I'm going over very gently. Plus you want to save it at the price of this thing costs, right? Yeah, this gives it a whole new texture, the blue, but it's still great. It's still got a great look to it. It is pretty good. Uh, it looks great. Um, I don't like. I don't have anything else to try it over. Not really. Now nah, that'll be it. All right, guys. We got the three spoons. One of them didn't work good. I don't know what happened to it, but uh, we'll look it over at the bench. I think it's because uh, uh, the style of uh, primer that it was. But so far. This looks good. Meet you back at the bench and we'll check out the results. All right, guys. Finally, I got to test this $30 chrome. Uh, yeah, we got the results. Uh, the first spoon I did did not work. Um, this ended up being this uh, Stonerez Gloss Black Primer. Now, it didn't come out shiny. I don't know why. I probably should have thinned it. They don't recommend you don't thin it and get a flow improver. So what I did was I put a gloss coat over it. So it, has, so it basically was shiny black. But something in that combo didn't work. It just came out as aluminum. So that was a failure. So I thought right away I was doing something wrong. But on to the next spoon, which was my all-clad gloss black base, which is... My standby which is right here and there's the result so I guess this <laughs> this is more like it now we're going to compare it to all clad in a minute but this is very 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 thin coat over black it came out great you know no better than anything else personally but it came out great um, this is it over the blue that dark blue spoon you can see the blue here so it's a slightly different shade if I can cover the blues. See that? It might even be nicer. Almost looks like the black chrome and the regular chrome. Now this is it over the gloss gray. Same results I get when I do the all clad over the lighter bases. Um, you can almost see my face there. But look at the difference. So you're getting three shades based on the three bases. I should have did it over white, but uh, I think over white looks very close to this so there's your three shades and it's good now I heard it's more durable than all clad which almost anything probably is it's pretty sensitive I found out you really have to use this this uh, aqua aqua gloss to protect the, the all clad you, you seem to lose a little bit but not much and if you're gonna spray something and not touch it like an airplane kit you're gonna leave in the shelf or in the glass you probably don't have to protect it at all. So I'm, I'm going to come back after a week and scratch these things up. We're going to see how they are. I will let you guys know if there's a difference. Now, here we go. All clad chrome over black. Gaia notes over black. They're almost identical. 
I mean, not so much that I'm going to drop 30 bucks on this, and I think it's $8 for my all clad, which come in these bottles. Now, uh, amount wise, this is an ounce. So let's see. I don't know if I can read the ounces on these uh, these Japanese bottles, but believe it or not, it's almost it's it's the same. I believe. I think I read it's the same. But look, here you go. All clad. The Gaia. All right. Now this is all clad over black. It has a nice tone too, but I mean it, it's comparable. Now it could be stronger. Which will save you money and time for putting a gloss over it if you want to protect it. You can look at it that way. You're still not going to come up to 30 bucks. These two alone still come to under 20 uh, if you put it that way. You know? But let's try this. This is the blue. This is the black chrome. All right? All clad black, all clad regular chrome. And there's the one I just did I, on, over blue. It's right down the middle. So, without getting too confusing here, let's keep these here. Let's keep this here. These are the two all clads. Yes. Okay. And this is it over the black. Now, check this out. This was the all clad airframe aluminum. I mean, this might be my favorite of all of them. It looks no different. It really looks no different. You know, it has more, if you've seen it, it has a slight gold tint to it. But, this is great. Now, polished aluminum with the, I wrote it down, the aqua gloss over it. That's with this protecting it. So, you're really not losing that much, uh, if anything. You know, it's a slight, uh, it's, it's pretty close. It's no difference. I, I guess you could coat it, you know. So, this is air, a polished aluminum with the aqua gloss coating. And uh, it's it's also comparable. I know we're reviewing this. Here's Airframe Aluminum. And this is it. This is the High Shine Aluminum. With the Aqua Gloss. Now this is slightly duller. But again, it's aluminum. It's, it's not chrome. You know. I keep them here so you guys can see all. But, uh... This is as close as I can test the high, the, uh, the gloss gray with this gloss gray. All clad, Gaia. So personally, I'd, I'd save the money. It, it looks no different than these. And even the bottle, you could probably get two different colored, even black chrome, regular chrome, or airframe, and a bottle of this still come in under the price of this one jar. Still, um, they're both lacquers, except for the aqua gloss. That's an acrylic. So uh, here's all the uh, here's all my high shiny all clads right here. And this is the Gaia. Anyway, don't put it over uh, anything other than the shiny high shine surface paint. Nothing on top of it because this was a gloss coated black, and uh, it just came out like aluminum. It did nothing. I actually feared the results till I put it over. A true black gloss base so don't make that mistake but this is it over light gray dark blue and black um, uh, the results are getting a little monotonous uh, all clad to me comes out the winner again this isn't bad again it could be it, it could be tougher and you probably don't have to gloss coat it maybe I gotta test it in a few weeks I gotta let it harden to its to its most uh, I like to go at least a week to test something for its strength but anyway that's the uh, Gaia Premium Chrome, Miracrome, and uh, it's not cheap, and uh, it, it works. It's just, it's personally, it, it's no better. It's no better than what we have here, you know. It's just no better. And like I said, these these bottles of all clad are cheap. To me, they're cheap, under ten bucks compared to thirty. And throw this in, and throw this in. I bet you you're coming to thirty bucks. I bet you're still on the thirty bucks <laughs> for these for these three, and you're good to go. Um, that's my opinion. 
let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, uh, ask me below and uh, hit the subscribe. I got more stuff coming up. I'm going to try and do at least a video a week, maybe two a week. I got tons of stuff you can see in the background that needs to be tested. And I got these uh, Humbrol, uh, these uh, metalizers from Humbrol. We'll see what those look like too. And those are enamels, so they should have a good shine to them. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. I will see you soon. And I hope you enjoyed the video and the test. It's good stuff. I don't know if it's as good as this. That's my conclusion.